All right, Austria track guide. Um, gonna treat it more like a qualifying lap, not like a time trial lap. So I'm not gonna be using as much curbing as you'll see the guys in time trial do. This is all done on the default setup. I literally loaded in, went straight to track. I have no idea what the default settings are in all honesty. But uh, so yeah, we're halfway through sector three. And uh, what is it? Eight, nine, something like that. I'm not sure. I think it's only eight and nine. But pretty much, your only goal through these two to start a lap is the second one, you want to be lined up as far left as maybe possible. That way you can for the yellow curving right there on the inside to the last corner. Uh, you can go fourth or fifth gear through here, whatever you're comfortable with, kind of run. Uh, whatever's going to help slow the car down, rotate it through the center of the corner. So you kind of you kind of want to aim for it, not quite get to it. You can get to it, but sometimes it sets the car. I run no traction control. Other people with medium traction or full traction will probably be able to do it a bit more aggressively. But uh, yeah, aim for the inside curb, back on the power, nice and early. Uh, up shifts to fifth gear for wheel spin issues. Let the outside curbing at the exit corner here kind of help the car rotate and keep it in the track limits. For in between the 100 and the 50 meter board, around 75-ish, 60 meters. Um, you're going to want to pretty much have the car going to the left as you're hitting the braking zone, or at least straight. You don't want to be aimed right. You want to be aimed straight or to the left as you're downshifting. Aim for third or fourth gear, whatever you're comfortable with. I prefer fourth. Again, no traction, whatever. Uh, again, you're going to aim for a yellow curve. Turn one, so you can see. I'm right here. I'm on the brakes. Going to start downshifting around 70, 60 meters. I'm going to go to fourth gear. Curb right there. Gonna go right over it, make sure the left front tries to stay in track, and you're aiming for the yellow turtle curb on exit, right up beyond the red and white curb. That's gonna help keep the car in, in the limits, make sure it's out there. Again, curbing, exiting, helping the car. Uh, the curbs are all kind of banked, so you're, you're gonna use them to help keep the car in the track limits, hard on the power, up, to, up through the gear. So right there, you can see that's probably about 80, 75 meters. Um, part on the brakes, second or third gear, really preference here. I prefer second gear. Um, that's just because I, I like having the more control with um, how much wheel spin I'm getting out of that corner exit. Other people are going to be way more comfortable in third gear. But uh, you're going to be brakes right through the second, third gear. Aim for the yellow curb. Don't quite go over it. It'll kind of upset the car. So you're going to try and get as close as possible to it here. Um, you're pretty much going to pick up the power right around, right, right around here. You're going to put a little bit of throttle in, maybe 20, 25 percent. Uh, early upshift to third. And once you strain it, out, see, I'm already in third gear. As you start to strain it out, you put on more power with a quick upshift to fourth to keep the wheel spin under control. In between the 100 and the 50. Closer to almost the shadow of the Pirelli board, you can see right there. That's pretty much where you can brake. Right there is almost the limit. Maybe a little bit later if you're on a good setup. Uh, but again, all the setup here. You can see already downshifting, already on the brakes. Um, I like to go down to third or fourth gear here. Um, again, it's all again and curbing. Uh, I don't like to use too much curb here. It kind of can upset the rear end. You can get a little bit of wheel spin. Um, but you can see I just barely touch the curb. Run, run the car out wide. On the power, early up shift to fourth. Kind of, uh, you're not going to quite get to this curb unless you kind of went a little too deep. But you're going to go up through the gears and we're going to go onward to turn five. As late as you can here. Pretty much almost where that Rolex sign jets out a little bit. And you're going to go hard on the brakes, quick downshift to fifth, and then you're going to aim for the inside curb. Use as much as possible to help rotate the car and make sure not to cut it or go too far over. It will spin the car out, but again, just kind of, you know, little aim. You can see hard on, hard on the Down to fifth gear, aiming for the curb, got it full lock. Just missing it a little bit, but that's good. We're on the power here. 
Um, you want to aim to have your right side tires pretty much in the green part on this exit curb, where the left sides are still in the track bounds. That way, the whole track. You can see right here, fifth, sixth, or well, yeah, more like the red, not the green. But uh, so you're you're kind of set up like this. You're gonna go into turn six now. You're gonna be looking for the curb on the inside. You can use a lot of the inside curb and kind of avoid the outside curb that'll invalidate your lap. So you can use a lot of curb here. Take it in fifth gear with a, like a, a a quick fifth power gear, with a short up shift to sixth for uh for grip. You can stay in sixth here or go to seventh. More it's preference. It's honestly I do it different every lap. So you can see right there seventh down to fifth and just aim for the curb. Full curb, full power at this point. We're gonna go back to sixth gear as soon as we can. Uh, without losing to speed, so you see right there, sixth, and you're not even near this curb. This curb invalidates you all day long. Not even near it. Or corners here. Um, you know, try and take as much curb on the inside as possible. Use the exit curb. So you see, I actually missed the inside here by a little bit. This probably cost me about a half a tenth, maybe a full tenth. I, I miss it by a good amount. Uh, we're on the side. See, we're just keeping the car just in the track limits. Six here, you can stay in six, go to seventh again, all perfect. I stayed in six for this lap. Down to fifth, down to fourth to try and get the car to settle, to rotate down. Aim for the yellow curb, but not quite hit it. So again, just right next to it. We're already back on the power at this point. We're gonna have a short up shift to uh, short up shift to fifth gear, and then right finish to the line. And so again, uh, using exit curb. Just straight up, it's all full throttle here to the line. 1036. Um, obviously, room for improvement. Just a quick little rundown, quick little guide. Don't want to take these too long. Don't want to take them anything too, too serious, too long, or anything like that. Just a quick little reference guide. But uh, this is all done on default setup, so there's room to improve. Definitely room to be found, time to be found, everything like that. But uh, the biggest thing is just make sure you're not taking too much curb. Uh, you don't want to use the yellow curbing too hard. It will upset the rear end of the car. Um, and just make sure you're you're braking early enough. If you're not comfortable with uh, the, the late, late braking, or you're finding you're going too wide on exits, try and back up the corners more, brake a little earlier, um, and then work your way to a limit. Don't Don't try and, you know, force force a quicker time by braking later or trying to get more turn out of the car you're just going to upset it and you're never going to be good over a race run um i'm not a time trial guy i am way more of a race run qualifying guy so this is probably how i'm going to run every lap for the entirety of the race and see where i end up but uh some people are way more aggressive um and that's fine it's all preference it's all how you're comfortable but that's uh that's at least my lap around austria where i think you should be aiming for marks and Hopefully, uh, hopefully it helps uh, help some people out. All right, thanks.